Hey everyone, it's Handyman Dan. Now if you haven't heard, Rhonda took ill a couple months ago and he's currently in the hospital. Now due to the HIPAA Act, I can't tell you exactly why he's in there, but I can tell you this. Rhonda thinks I poisoned him. I did not poison that man. I mean, Rhonda's the only guy I got. Ronnie and the fucking mailman, man. Only people I got in the whole world. I ain't gonna poison him. But I think what happened is we got together Right before he took ill, I mixed up some Kentucky Hassie sweet tea, and I like it strong. So I mix it up strong. I figure Ron is a man. He gonna like it strong too. And apparently it was too much for his tummy and wound up in the hospital. As it stands right now, Ronnie ain't talking to me. Now I'll talk to him, but he won't have me. He just ain't, he ain't gonna listen. We do have an intermediary in Mrs. Ronnie, and through her, Ronnie did ask me a favor. Ronnie asked I can grow his marijuana this year. Now I told Ronnie, I'm a handyman. I can fix things, I can build something for you, I can do light carpentry, very light electrical. Gardening is not my forte at all. I, I have got no idea how to do any of that. Ronnie assured me, if I just follow his book, I'll be able to do it. I said, well, I'll give it a shot. I'm not in a position to say no to a Ronnie request at the moment. And now, as you can see, got this gorgeous plant growing. It is gorgeous. Look at that thing. Now, I'm six foot. Me and Ronnie are six foot tall. That is one big bird. Look at that thing. I'm going to guess that's five foot tall. I mean, it's elevated a little bit in the pot, but that's about five foot. Right? That's a big old plant. So, it's going well. But we are now at a point in the book where Ronnie gets real agitated. He started talking about these things called bud worms, which are these caterpillars, he say, they start eating up the buds. Now, I haven't had it yet, but he assures me in the book that it is coming. And, and he gets real fucking pissed off about these things. He's calling them motherfuckers and hope you die and all that shit. Ronnie, he get real hot about them. Now, according to Ronnie, there's these old dirty moths come around at night laying eggs all on the plant. Those hatching the caterpillars, and there you go. Now, Ronnie's solution is you spray these things with this organic bug killer. The caterpillars eat the fucking juice that you're spraying, and they shrivel up and die. Problem solved. But Ronnie does say it's fucking hard to get rid of them. When they're there, it is hard to get rid of them. Now, to me, I'm thinking, well, why don't I just build a canopy and close it in some kind of a net, put the plant in there? That way the moth can't get inside, right? Moth can't get inside, can't lay eggs. Now, Ron is one crafty son of a gun. I'm sure he's already figured this out for himself. The problem with Ronnie is he can't build a fucking thing. Ron is good at two things in this world. He's good at killing people in video games, and he's good at talking. I mean, you get in a conversation with Ronnie, that man will talk about anything you want in depth, and you'll leave your fucking ears are falling off your head. Most people, you talk to them, in five minutes, they're looking at their fucking phone, they're checking text, doing all this shit right in front of you. Like they always got some place to be, right? Not Ronnie. When Ronnie's talking to you, he ain't got nowhere to go, he ain't got no place to be, except right there with you and talking. The man is very genuine. But with that being genuine, comes at a cost. The cost is, anything requiring a tool in Ronnie's hand, the man is borderline retarded. I mean, that's the only way to say it. He's borderline retarded. He can't do any of that shit. The man can't even hang a fucking picture on the wall. And I ain't joking. I had Mrs. Ronnie come out one time. Hey, Dan, can you help Ron out? He's trying to hang a picture. I said, all right. I go inside. See Ronnie. Ronnie's sweating on his fucking forehead. Got a hammer in one hand, picture in the other. Fucking nail in his mouth. Sitting there mumbling to himself. Oh, I can't do it. Can't do it, man. I'm just going to take the wall down. I can't do it. Like Ronnie. What in the hell is the problem, man? Oh, uh, there's a plaster wall, man. It's going to break the wall. It's going to come down. I said, Ronnie, just drive a nail on the wall, man. Ain't fucking hard. Oh, no, Dan, can you do it, man? All right. Take the hammer, drive a nail on the wall. Fucking picture's hung. Ronnie's like, oh, man, thanks. Uh, I couldn't figure it out and all this shit. That's Ronnie. He cannot do it. Ain't going to happen. So I'm sure Ronnie figured out you can just enclose the plant and be safe from the worms but he just don't know how to do it. That's where I come in. 
old handyman Dan gonna make it for him. Now Ronnie don't know. It's gonna be a surprise. I want him to come back, be an olive branch of sorts. You know, Ronnie's he's real pissed off at me. I want him to come back and see I did this for him. You know, if I'm keeping Ronnie's plant safe, he's gonna be real happy. You know what I mean? Man might cry. I'll be honest, he might cry. So I'm gonna do it right now. Stay tuned, and I'll see you on the other side. Well, there we are. That's a hoop house. Now don't let the shiny parts fool you, because that thing is anything but fancy. I used wood lying around. I had extra wood when I built a gate for Ronnie. I found some wood over by my trailer. Probably been out there 10 years. I don't know where it came from. It don't gotta look pretty. Just gotta get the job done. So I'm gonna show you how I did it here. Let me show you up top there. You got that PVC. All right, let me show you how I did it, but first things first, I'm gonna make myself real fucking clear here. I built this one for me. If you go build one for you and that thing falls apart, or that fucking PVC launches itself into the sky like a javelin, don't come barking up my tree. You build yours, I build mine. That's the way it goes. I know people love suing other people for money, try to take their money, blaming somebody else for what they done. You built it, you own it. If mine falls apart, I ain't gonna go come blaming you. And if you go sell, sell five of these things for 500 bucks, making them for people, I ain't gonna ask you for no money and you ain't gonna give me none. So don't come blaming me. All right, let me show you how I've done it here. All right, the first thing you're gonna do, build that bottom frame. Now this hoop house is four by four. So it's gonna be four, four foot in each direction. Now those are fence planks. I just cut the, cut the end off. You're gonna put them at the bottom. You're only gonna build half at a time. What I mean by that, I mean, I got this two by four here. These two, two by fours, these are three foot nine, three foot 10. They don't gotta be perfect. So say three foot 10, give yourself a little extra. Got two by four here. You're gonna stand it up, one on this side, one on that side. You're gonna put the fence plank against it. You're gonna clamp it down. You're gonna clamp them down. This one, and then this one on this side here. It's gonna look a little bit squirrely, but that two by four, that'll, that'll stay there. Don't worry about it. We gotta go down underneath there. So, you're gonna clamp it. And then, important part here, don't make a mistake I did. You're gonna drill pilot holes. When you got a clamp, you're gonna drill pilot holes in here. When I did this first one, it's fucking hot as hell out here. I was out here cooking in the sun, it fried up my brain. I said, oh, fuck it, I'll just drive the screws right on in. That was a mistake. I made this, this wood split in the two by four. So I filled it up with, with wood glue. You don't want that split because it's gonna keep running and you want this thing falling apart. To be quite honest, if I want to replace a two by four, it ain't that hard. This thing, this contraption right here is real simple. So I wanted to replace it, I could, but it's too fucking hot and I don't need to. But you want to prevent that, make sure you drill that pilot hole. I got two screws down here. Once you get them pilot holes drilled and then you drive a screw in there, you just take the clamp off. No problem. You got them here, you got them here. I got Two screws on, two screws here, two screws here. You do that for this two by four, and you do it for the other end two by four. Once you got them done, then you do the other side. You just mirror it, except that that first part had had the side piece already. Once you get that base done, you're gonna. Man, it is fucking hot out here. I'm cooking again. Once you get that base done, you can put these these middle pieces here, real easy. Just put it up there, same same old routine. Put it up there, fucking clamp it. I only put one screw in this thing. It ain't that important. You're just giving it a little more stability. Just put it there, put it there. Leave one side open for yourself. That this side over here, that 
that's the entrance. You don't want to wall yourself off. There's no reason for it. After you got that all done, and you're gonna come up here. Man, I'm fucking cooking. Holy fuck. I am fucking cooking out here. Get them done. And you're gonna go to work here on your hoop holders. Now, this one inch PVC, it comes in a 10, 10 foot length. So it's one inch in diameter and I got a one foot portion there. That's gonna be your, your hoop holder. Now these fuckers right here, see, this first one, this one got away from me. I bought these clamps and these clamps are for, for one inch PVC, but they got two different kinds. This one's called EMT. The one I should have been using, you can see it, is called Rigid Style. Now I don't know what that EMT one's about, but what I do know is the Rigid one is a little bit bigger, and you can throw it on there, and you just got more room to work. Again, I put this on here, I clamped this down, ran a pilot hole through here. Why did I do that? Because when I was on this first one, when I had them all fucked up EMT style, I couldn't get them all flush, and I was, it was too fucking hot. So I just said, fuck it, I'm just gonna drive it in, and I split the fucking wood. Nobody to blame but myself. So, you don't want it to look like that, you want it to look pretty, like the rigid, rigid style. So you do that, and again, this thing, I ain't too concerned, I mean, the screw ain't flush but it ain't gonna break off. There's plenty of thread inside that two by four. So you get those, one, get those one foot portions of one inch PVC, get them mounted up there, and then the star of the show, of course, are the hoops. Hold on a second. There you go, that's the star of the show, them hoops. All that is, that's half inch PVC, schedule 40, don't get something besides Schedule 40, it'll be too thick, it ain't gonna be able to bend. And don't get three quarter inch. I hate to even say it, cause I don't wanna put that number in your mind. But when you go to buy it, you're buying one inch PVC for the holders, and you're buying half inch PVC for the hoops. Three quarter inch ain't gonna fit. It's not gonna fit inside the, the one inch. So get half inch PVC Schedule 40. It comes in a 10 foot length. You're just gonna put it in there, you're gonna bend it down. Not, nice and simple. What I got down here, I got hose clamps. I got hose clamp down here to keep it from having the, you know, the potential to go up, but it ain't ever moving. But what you can do, you can adjust the height of the hoops if you want. I'm gonna get it down. Just move it down on both sides. Right now I got her size for over six foot. So Ronnie can get inside no problem, but if you don't need six foot, you can size her down no problem. One thing that's important here about the sizing is, you can see this here. You see the gap, see there's the, there's the two by four on the post. Let me get this one, this one better. You got that two by four got the one inch PVC, you got the half inch going inside. Now there's a gap. That PVC ain't resting on the wood, right? But you can see if you got too much extra two by four up on top, it's going to interrupt that bend. See, there's a gap. There's a gap in there. You don't want to interrupt that bend. If this thing was up here real tall, then your PVC won't be bending right. And it's going to break. I don't, when's it going to break? I don't know. You tell me, you wanna find out, you go right ahead. I ain't trying to break that shit, have it fling out and pale someone in the neighborhood. So, man, I'm fucking cooking. I am cooking out here. Make sure I get a nice, good shot for you all. Like I said, the, the two by fours here, two by four, three foot nine, three foot 10. I originally had them four foot, because I wasn't sure how, how high I was gonna to have to go on the, the PVC holders. 
But once I had it on there and I could size it right, then I just came out with a circular saw and cut the top off. Otherwise, everything you see, I built it right here. I wasn't building it nowhere else. I did cut the wood in Ronnie's garage. I cut the cheese in there too. Don't tell nobody. But everything out here assembled in America, assembled right here. Now I'll show you what I got for a net. I'm not completely thrilled with it, only because it's $25. And maybe you all watching it, you all got deeper pockets than mine, but 25 bucks on a net, I mean, that can buy me a case of beer and a number five at McDonald's, I'm set for the night. But had to be done. So let me show you here. It looks like some lacy old wedding number. I don't know, it's a net. It, it's a mosquito net. So I figure there's other netting I can get, but I'm not quite sure how big them moths are around it talking about. So to be safe, I got netting made for mosquitoes. So I'm gonna put that net on. I'm gonna turn the hoop house around 90 degrees so I can enter it. Can't, can't well enter it right now on the side. I'm gonna put the plan in there, put the net on top, and we're gonna be done. One thing I forgot to tell you, I'm gonna put a piece of metal wire up here. I don't even know where I found it. I just got a spool of it in there. I'm gonna wrap it around this hoop, and just wrap it around that hoop, and wrap it around the other hoop. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna tie all these, tie these three hoops together so they're like one. Put a net up on there. And that ain't gonna be falling in the gaps either, because it's gonna be supported by that metal wire. And don't forget that part. You'll find out. If you forget it, you'll know. So you're gonna have your you're gonna have drapes up there instead of a net. Alright, here's our hoop house. Netting blows a little bit, so I might have to staple it up on the posts here, or I'll just tuck it in. It ain't gonna be that hard. The main thing is that plant gonna be protected from them bug worms Ronnie hates so much. Ronnie is gonna be real happy. He is gonna be real happy.